Hello everyone. In this lecture, we talk about prime factorization and the number of factors. So this is a very important topic. I do encourage you to spend more time on practicing and understanding the idea in this topic. Okay, the first topic we talk about is how to prime factorize big numbers. So I think you must have seen those kind of questions like 20 factorial, how to prime factorize it. So it can prime factorize into 2 power of something, 3 power of something, 5 power of something, then 7 power, like 11 power, right? So let's first consider, say, 5 power. How can we find 5 power? So we know 20 factorial, we have 5, we have 10, we have times 15, we have times 20. So it's 5 power of 4. Then how about 3 power? So for 3 power, we know 20 divided by 3 is 6 remainder 2. So there will be 6 3 power. And then 20 divided by 9, there are 2 so remainder. We didn't need to worry about the remainder. But there are 2 9 multiples, which is 9 and 18. So which will provide an extra of 3. Because it's already calculated with a 3 here. So these two will provide an extra 3. So it's another 2 of 3. And there's no uh, 27 multiple, so we don't have to worry about. So in total, 6 plus 2, there are 8 of 3. So it's 3 power of 8. Lastly, let's consider what is 2 power. What's the largest 2 power? So the same idea, 20 divided by 2 is 10. So there are 10 of 2 multiple. Then 20 divided by 4, there are 5 of 4 multiple, which will provide an extra of 5 power of 2. And then 20 divided by 8, there are 2 8 multiple. And 20 divided by 16, there are 1 8 uh, 16 multiple. So these are extra, then we add together, it's going to be 2 power of 18. So this method is very, very useful. The other topic we want to talk about is how many factors a number has. So there's a very easy mechanism to calculate this, how many factors. So let's take 72 for example. We know 72 can prime factorize into 2 power of 3 times 3 power of 2. And we know any factor should be in the form 2 power of something times 3 power of something. And for 2 power, it can be 0, 2 power of 0, 2 power of 1, 2, 3, 4. And for 3 power, it can be 3 power of 0, 3 power of 1, 3 power of 2. So it's like 3 plus 1 times 2 plus 1. So there are a total 12 factors. Uh, let's see another example. Say 360. We first prime factorize it. And... Uh, so we know it could be right into 2 power times 3 power times 5 power. And for the 2 power, it can be 0, 1, 2, 3. So 3 plus 1, 2 plus 1 times 1 plus 1. There are 24 factors. So this is a very good algorithm to calculate how many factors a number has. So in the future, we're going to combine these two skills. When we are equipped with, with these two skills, you should be okay with AMC 10 questions in um, number theorem topic. Okay, let's see a question. This is from 2018 AMC 8, problem 18. So although it's from AMC 8, so I would say this question is a part C question in AMC 8. So it's a very typical question in this topic. That's why I put it here. So the question is, how many positive factors this number half. So this number, um, you know, we have to prime factorize it. So let's do um, it's a multiple of eight. So it's eight, and uh, let's do two nine zero four. Two nine zero four is it a multiple of eight? Yes. So it's eight three and uh, six. 3. 363 is 3 times 1, 2, 1. 
one two one is eleven square, so it's gonna be um so eight eight times eight sixty four. This is two power of six times three times eleven square. How many factors? So we know the algorithm is like six plus one times one plus one times two plus one. There are seven times two times three, forty two factors of this number. Okay, let's see another one. This is also from AMC8. Um, it's also a part C question from AMC8, the very typical one. So I put it here. Let's pause the video and think about it. Okay, let's come back. The question is what's the largest power, 5 power of n? The fact factor of this number. So basically, we are looking for this number, and if this number is prime factorized, what's the uh, five power? Okay. So this number, we first have to simplify it to make it easier to calculate. So this one, we know, um, a hundred, a uh, ninety-eight factorial. Ninety-nine is just ninety-nine plus times ninety-eight factorial. Plus, um, this is 100 times 99 times 98 factorial. So if we factor out 98 factorial, then it will be 1 plus 99 plus 9900, which is 98 factorial times 1000. Okay, so this is divisible by 5 power of what? The largest power. So we know this can provide 5 power of 4. Now we just need to worry about 98 factorial can provide power of what? Uh, 5 power of what? So we do 98 divided by 5, which is 19, remainder 3. Then divide by 25 is 3. Divide by the next 5 power is 125. Yeah, there's nothing, right? So in total, 19 plus 3. There are 22. This is 5 power of 22. In total, this is 5 power of 26. Okay. The next one is from 2020 10A, problem 15. So this one is a bit harder. Let's pause the video and think about it. Okay, let's come back. The question is the probability that the divisor is a perfect square can be expressed as m over n. So we know we first write 12 factorial into 2 power, 3 power, 5 power, 7. 7 is only power of 1, and then 11. Then we are done, right? So if we can find out the prime factorization, say x, y, z. And uh, this is power of 1. And the first, the question is probability. So we know first how many divisors. There are x plus 1 times y plus 1 times c plus 1 times 2 times 2. This is how many divisors. And then the numerator is a perfect square, which is 2 power, 3 power, and the 5 power is only even numbers. Okay, now then we now we know how to do. So let's first figure out x, y, z. So z, this is um, 2, we know that. And the y, so for 3 power, 12 divided by 3 is 4, 12 divided by 9 is 1. So 3 power is 5. Lastly, let's figure out 2 power, 3, 12 divided by 8 is 1. So 2 power is 10. So now the bottom is um, 11 times 6 times 3. And at the top, we know 2 power, it can be 2 power of 0, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. So basically, there are 6 choices for 2 power. And for 3 power, it can be 3 power of 0, 2, 4, 3 choices. 
And for pi 5 power, it can be 0 or 2. So two choices. So this is our answer. Let's simplify. So the answer is 1 over 22. And the n plus n is 23. So it's a combination of the skill we previously learned. 